hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining to my old subscriber and my new subscriber i just want to say a very big welcome so today is going to be me making um onion juice for massive extremely hair growth and i'm going to be doing it in a different way where obviously some people just make onion juice and use on their hair but i'm going to make it into oil infuse oil into it and then use it for my hair um, oil, hair massage or hot oil treatment as a low porosity hair person. So today I've got my onions. Um, I just wanted to, you know, say something about red and white onion. White onion is good for cooking, but it's not good for what we're about to do today. Some people tend to use white onion. White on red onion has more properties inside it. It has more antioxidants and whatever pro it's more healthier has like it's times two of what this has. So I will always advise you to use red onion to do your onion juice. So this is not what we are going to be using. We are going to be using this onion right here. And the way I'm going to be using this onion is going to be obviously the process we are about to do now blending it and infusing it with my oil I've got red seed oil and guys I like I said I have low porosity hair and I always tend to use oil that are very light that will infuse it that will get into my hair shaft so that is why I've gone to choose my sweet almond sweet almond oil and my rep seed oil right there grape seed oil and they are all organic and um cold press so i have got to and i've got my um obviously my hair one of my hair um my wig cap this is what i used to strain um the oil out and it's a clean one it's, as you can see it's a bit wet because i had to wash and clean it again and i've not used it before it's a new one apparently so, as you can see so that's what we're going to be using today so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be using my knife to just chop the onion just clean the dirty part so every juice in this thing matters i'm going to put everything that matters into it So it's going to be this and I'm going to go ahead and chop it into pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this, I'm sorry,
to make it easy for it to blend very well, I'm going to add a little bit of oil and then make sure it helps me um, bring the juice out properly. Normally I should use water, but I just don't want to use water. I want to be able to use um, the oil and onions completely. So I'm going to um, turn the camera towards uh, the cooker. So I've got a fry pan here, um, frying pan right here, um, professional um, cooking frying pan. Uh, I'm just going to wait for it uh, to get a little bit hot and I'm going to add two of my oil into this. and. First of all, I need to add this because I do not want to cook my oil, if you know what I mean. It still has to be natural, like organic or cold press like that. I just need to make it a little bit hot. So the most important here, um, thing here is the onion. So I'm going to put the onion in a frying pan. Make sure I remove everything from the blender. Now go ahead and add my oil. So this is going to fry just for two minutes. Just put the amount of oil you want, um, nothing really too much. I'm going to show you. I'll do this for two minutes and I'll come back and show you guys. My battery is about to die, so let me save it till the end. Hey guys so this is what literally is looking like and the oil is settling at the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and sieve this so I'm gonna be using this and this container right here to squeeze it in So guys, um, 
to make this um, juice um, the juice to be very clear I'm gonna I wash this thing again and I'm gonna be using it to completely sieve it so that it will be clear as you can see there's residue on the bottom so I'm gonna And I'm gonna be adding um, some mint, mint oil um, helps to um, for blood circulation. So I'm gonna just add five drops of uh, mint oil, essential oil. One, two, two, three, four, and five. Oh, more than that, which is all right. So. I'm gonna go ahead and add bless me peppermint that's peppermint oil by the way I said mint oil so I'm gonna go ahead and add rosemary oil into it and rosemary oil also helps to circulate and um, blood and it has a good antioxidant as well two three four right that's it and I'm gonna go ahead and add lavender lavender oil helps as well for um it eliminates the smell um, of the onion a little bit and it adds um and for blood blood circulation as well um so the last but not the least will be my my lovely teeth tea tree oil which I love so much tea tree oil helps keep your scalp very healthy stops it from itchy and being dry and no dandruff and um, black patchy and um, what do you call it no dandruff and then um, and then um, dry scalp and all that it helps eliminate things like that so now that i've got all my essential oil i'm gonna go ahead and use this little spoon and just wiggle around it to mix everything and there you have your orange and um, your onion <laughs> Your onion juice right there and that's it for amazing extraordinary growth so I'm gonna go ahead obviously use this on my scalp and, and, I'll show my, you guys. and then put it this is my my old corn roll yo so what I'm doing is just like at the middle of my just b between the cornrows i'll just put it across between my um, cornrows and dip my two fingers like that and then separate it and then go through two lines at the same time and i tell you adding essential oil you makes this thing smell so good it smells really good the tea tree oil Kind of overpowers um everything which i like because it kind of reduces the smell of the onion and Your, the tip of your fingers not your nails the tip of your fingers and just press down like that for blood circulation and I feel really good doing this I hope you learned something from the, this video and I will see you in my next other video guys thank you very much and bye